Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. Alright, so technically, today's not a linear episode, this one's a, uh, a sort of special event I wanted to show you guys. It's not anything special like the Assassin's Creed Origin thing, or any of the Chocobo Fair. This one, as the title says, is all about the Ring of Lucci, and how OPAF it is, man. It's just crazy. You gotta watch this. See, I thought it was just a goof, but no. I got in here and I'm doing this. Hey, how you doing, Taka? I got all my levels up. Look at this. Look at look at how low my high levels are. Look. Not at that button. You stoop. Hey, look at those levels. Oh yeah, I'm sexy now. I'm mu mucho sexy now. But now I'm over here talking to Taka because I found this surprise little boss fight. I say little. <laughs> Now, for those of you who know me well enough, know that I have issues with turtles. I have serious, like, kelanophobia. And apart from that, at one point in this game, I was saying, I want to go climb that mountain. Well, it turns out, that mountain is not a mountain. The mountain's this guy. What's this? This is insane. Whoa, what is that? Look oh, oh, no. at that freaking no thing way, over there. Dude. That's a turtle. Look at this size. It's a freaking turtle. I mean, Jesus. Now, I know, I said this episode is called, uh, The Ring of Lucci is, uh, OPAF and whatnot. Well, this is what we're going to show you why that is. Where's the Chocobo station? I need to buy my Chocobos back. Hey, Matt, I need your help. I need my, I need my, my best buddy here. My little Matt fella. How you doing? Matt, the freaking Chocobo. All right, here we go. So we're going to go over and we're going to fight that guy. And you're going to see what I mean when I say that this freaking ring is overpowered. Give us a second while we get over there. Jeez, look at him getting so much bigger. He just keeps getting bigger. That's that mountain I wanted to climb. Jesus. And look, now we're in his circle. We're just barely in his circle, and we still got 3.5, 3.4 to go. That's not a beast. That's a mountain. Alright. Serve me well there, Matt. Now get out of here. Alright, so. The Ring of Lucci, insanely overpowered. Let me target this fool here. There we go. He's got to keep an eye on his life. Look at it. I'm going to speed up the next few parts. But first, I wanted to say, when I first got into this battle, there was a time limit. It was crazy. And I was like, what? There's no way I can beat this guy in this so many seconds. But I guess I got rid of the time limit, or it was just for that part. But, Jesus, look at that. Look at how much damage I'm doing to this guy. Anyway, I'm going to speed up some more. And you see he's getting smaller now, right? He's starting to get thinner and thinner. See how thin his face is getting now. It still takes a little bit of practice, but you, you can just basically hop between these rocks and not do anything else. But there's still a long way to go. Look how his face is getting skinnier and skinnier. That's kind of funny. Ha! 
pretty soon he's gonna get knocked down and fall out. This is gonna be funny. But for now, it's basically just a matter of just stay alive. See, there he goes. And then this one gives you a damage timer to do uh, 100,000 damage or more in a time limit. Easy day. Now look how small he is. His face is all sunken in and his little whisker things, his little tusks have become little whiskers. So it's ridiculous. Not quite done yet. And this is gonna take a minute, but. Look at that. A nice good wide shot of it all. And poof! Just like that, dead. <laughs> See what I mean? And you know what the funny part is? That's not even the worst thing. I mean, I spent a good 13 minutes, maybe 10, 13 minutes killing that guy. That wasn't even the worst. The uh, the Ring of Luchi, you can use the superpower on it and basically kill every hunt. There are Dodger some bad guys that are immune to it, but the turtles all the way down. Um, <laughs> for the most part, this darn ring is just super overpowered. It's ridiculously so. You can drain the life out of Adam Bad Toys, and I mean, when I first started, I was level 45, and I killed him at that level using the Ring of Lucci, and I was like, "What the heck, man? We got Matt." Matt, there you are. <laughs> Let's go. And I killed him just using the ring of Lucci at 45. And he was level 99. That time that time it took me about a half hour to beat him. And that was ridiculous. Um if you use like there's a, a food that you can get over at the Chocobo rest stop which raises your amount of experience gain by two hundred percent, I think. Yeah, doubles it. And uh if you get that, last for about an hour, come over here, drain the life out of Adamantoys, go back, you can get it about twice, like at 45, and that gives you a butt ton of experience points with very little effort. Like there, I just got, I think it was 40,000, something like that, 50,000 experience off that boss. With the, uh, with the sandwich over there at the Chocobo rest stop, it boosts it up to 100,000, 80 to 100,000. And then you go and you sleep over there at uh, Golden Key for 10, 10 grand, which is the reward for killing Adamantoys, I might add. <laughs> and boom, you're maxed out in like two seconds. Well, a couple hours, but you know. And apart from that, like I said, the, the superpower, the... the well, let me show you this one. Thanks for the ride. Get closer. Like this superpower right here. <laughs> Watch this. Just sucks up all the bad guys. Doesn't always kill them if they're not close enough, but can literally kill almost every single enemy in the game with that because it's an instant kill. And if they're not immune to instant death, then... 
then they'll survive, but apart from that, it's like... Most of the hunts, the only difference is like some of the bosses are, 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 immune, are immune to death, so they don't get affected by it. Um, freaking Adamant Toys, he's immune to it, so he doesn't get killed by it. But apart from that, it's like every other creature in this game, you can just suck into a vortex and they die. Easy now. So that, in my opinion, is why this ring is overpowered. <laughs> anyway, that was all I really had for you for this game tonight. I have another game I want to play, and I might make it a pretty long episode. Um, well, might being the operative word, I'm going to play it for a while. And I wanted to get just a short other video in, namely talking about how overpowered this stupid ring is, and how ridiculously game-breaking it is. <laughs> now, I haven't fought the final boss of this game, but I maxed, well, I'm almost maxed out. I have one more level to go until I'm maxed out, and uh, that will be next time. Next time, we will beat this game, and that'll be exciting, won't it? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to, you can comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know, all that jazz. Do you know of any other game-breaking weapons in games like this that you've encountered? I've encountered a few of them. Um, like, I don't remember which one it was, but it was another Final Fantasy, and the weapon was just an automatic insta-kill. It was like instant death on my weapon. So every bad guy I hit with it died. And it was broken, I guess, because even bosses were dying to it. It was insane. But anyway, <laughs> leave those down in the comments below. I like to read about stuff like that. Um... But anyway, tune in next time when we're going to beat this game. And until then, good night.